Let us see the primary structure of dicotyledonous root, that is, bean root. The transverse section of the dicot root, that is, bean, shows the following plan of arrangement of tissues from the periphery to the center. Let us see the rhizodermis or epiblemma. The outermost layer of the root is known as rhizodermis. It is made up of a single layer of parenchyma cells which are arranged compactly without intercellular spaces. It is devoid of stomata and cuticle. Root hair is always single celled. It absorbs water and mineral salts from the soil. The chief function of rhizodermis is protection. Let us know about the cortex region. Cortex consists of only parenchyma cells. These cells are loosely arranged with intercellular spaces to make gaseous exchange easier. These cells may store food reserves. The cells are oval or rounded in shape. Sometimes they are polygonal due to mutual pressure. Though chloroplasts are absent in cortical cells, starch grains are stored in them. The cells also possess leucoplasts. The innermost layer of the cortex is endodermis. Endodermis is made up of single layer of barrel-shaped parenchymatous cells. Stelae is completely surrounded by the endodermis. The radial and the inner tangential walls of endodermal cells are thickened with suberin. This thickening was first noted by Caspary. So, these thickenings are called Casparian strips. But, these Casparian strips are absent in the endodermal cells, which are located opposite to the protoxylum elements. These thin-walled cells without Casparian strips are called passage cells, through which the water and mineral salts are conducted from the cortex to the xylem elements. Water cannot pass through the endodermal cells due to the presence of Casparian thickenings. Let us know about stele. All the tissues present inside endodermis comprise the stele. It includes pericycle and Vascular system. What is a pericycle? Pericycle is generally a single layer of parenchymatous cells found inner to the endodermis. It is the outermost layer of the stele. Lateral roots originate from the pericycle. Thus, the lateral roots are endogenous in origin. Let us know more about vascular system. Vascular tissues are in radial arrangement. The tissue by which the xylem and phloem are separated is called a conjunctive tissue. In bean, the conjunctive tissue is composed of parenchymatous tissue. Xylem is in exact condition. The number of protoxylum is 4 and so the xylem is called tetrach. Each phloem patch consists of seed tubes, companion cells and phloem parenchyma. Metaxylem vessels are generally polygonal in shape but in monocot roots they are circular. Let us see the difference between monocot and dicot roots. In monocot roots, xylem is polyar. In dicot roots, 
The xylem is usually tetrach. Pith is usually large at the center of the monocot roots. Pith is usually absent in dicot roots. The metaxylem vessels are generally circular in cross section of the monocot roots. The metaxylem vessels are generally polygonal in cross section of the dicot roots. In monocot roots, conjunctive tissue is parenchymatous as in maize. In dicot roots, the conjunctive tissue is usually parenchymatous. In monocot roots, there is no secondary growth. In dicot roots, the secondary growth is generally present.